All right, guys, welcome in. My name is Yao A. Owusu Jr., your resident vitality consultant. To my left, Nicholas Lopez Jr. To my right, Andre the Alien Bibbins Jr. We are the Vitality Handbook. Welcome in. Thank you for joining us. We're going to get right into it. Season three, we're talking about nutrition. Nutrition. How can we optimize your vitality with nutrition? Mr. Nicholas, nutrition, sir. I like that shape up. Sharp. Skin's glowing. Sharp as a tack. Tell them what you're eating, sir. Just had some quinoa brown rice pasta with some salmon. Woo. I had shoes. I had a burger. My bad. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what, you, what was your last meal, Dre? Uh, my last meal was uh, my normal. Normal. I eat uh, super plain. It's normal stuff. You know, my stuff comes from my makeup for lack of eating uh, a variety of stuff comes from supplements. So, but I know that. You know so, what what's I mean? your basic? Is like, uh, it could be it could be ch chicken, turkey, um, lean meat, right? Chicken, turkey, and that's really it. And then um, rice, sweet potato, and that's really it. I stay consistent with that, right. you know. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, I did actually eat a burger. I'm up to at least one burger a week. Uh, so those are my refeeds. Because my gains been coming in so good. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm not a tax. Nah, no, you're not joking. Refeeds, um, based on your body type, based on your goals, are, in our opinion, are needed. It all depends what you're refeeding with. I still don't do dairy. I still don't have egregious things. It's just a burger with some sweet potato fries. So I am getting my carbohydrate, carbohydrates in there. I'm getting the bread in there. Uh, so those two things uh, are need as an ectomorph, so knowing your body. So when we're talking about nutrition, I kind of stay on point plant-based, ma mainly 70%, 75% plant-based. But when I have my cheese, it's always going to be a burger with some sweet potato fries. Well, I call it a refeed. I don't really see it as cheating because I'm winning. Okay? Now, nutrition. On brand, as always, eating right for your body type is what we talk about. He knows ground, turkey, chicken, rice. He makes up for his fruits and vegetables with supplementation. He knows that works for him. Obviously, you can see. Nick, super clean. Terminator, you got the glasses so on. I don't think he's going to take them off. Tapping into that. <laughs> shit. Tapping into that. Tapping into that. Um, you can tell, but your skin is not going to look like that if you're eating like crap. It's not happening, right? Um, he didn't look like that at all. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but all seriousness, nutrition is a very hard topic because no one wants to be told what to eat, especially if you're not in control of what you eat, like your wife cooks or your husband cooks or your parents cook. So how can we bring the reins back to the, to the people? How can we give the people more control over what they eat? Give me an example, Nadre, we're going to go to you. If we want to, I want to say control, manage your nutrition based on your goals and your body, like what can we give them as far as some advice? When, you, when, you, when I heard the word give the people, mm -hmm. it, it's almost like a revolutionary statement, right? When you think about what we want to give the people. So, so that kind of lines with something that I wanted to bring up today okay. that popped up on my radar, which was like food politics. So mm. like the, the politics on food. Um, okay. I just put I just put that radar out, okay. out there, and then I came across um, a, a story on uh, shout out to Ocho System. So on his page, um, he posted something on how Biden's about to spend eight. Oh, he Biden promised to spend eight billion dollars on empowering food access and, and basically the food politics. Okay. Now, as far as the specifics, if you want specifics on that, I'm gonna have to pull up the, the, the reference. So let me go ahead and do that, because we, because we are, um, what, what, we, we have, we have- Why he's pulling that up, Dre? What do you, come on now. So here, Don't Biden- so, Okay, okay. go ahead, my bad. So Biden promised to end hunger in the US by the end of the decade, unveiling 8 billion in public and private sector commitments to make food healthier more affordable and accessible. It was the first White House summit dedicated to combating hunger in nearly a half a century. 
quote, I know we can do this, Biden said, quote, the goal, this goal is within our reach, end quote. Most of the policy proposals, like permanently extending the child tax credit, raising the minimum wage, and expanding nutrition assistance programs will require congressional approval. So that last part says require congressional approval. We know how most of these things get stuck in quote unquote congressional approval, and therefore we know who actually influences quote unquote this congressional approval, which is a side note, PVS is, is adamant on growing to a level where we can invest in quote unquote politics, especially when we think about your boy, Dr. Cloud Anderson, as yes, far as getting to the level of yes, sir. having some type of influence in, in, in politics. So just to summarize, when you said the, give the people, it just made me, okay, that's an easy segue into thinking about food politics. Now, what are your, before you uncover that, what are your experiences with, with, with food politics? And I was going to take it a different spin. <clears throat> we, anything is possible, but I like looking at probabilities. Let's look at the probabilities of the history of this country. Last time they even thought about this was, what, 50 years ago? Half a century. Half a century. So 50 years ago, um, what, around JFK's time? Is that, was that who? I can't remember. You guys look it up, comment, and see if that's the, the president. Uh, I know they were really health conscious. So his wife had a good health, physical education program, and nutrition program. Um, president Obama's wife also had a nutritional program. But we're talking about food hunger and politics. The politics is really uh, the dairy industry that lobbies, the egg industry that lobbies, the meat industry that lobbies. Let's just be honest. The sugar. Sugar. I was going to get to those egregious guys. The coffee industry. The, all these industries of food and drugs, uh, FDA, right? It's just not regulated. There is no money in regulation. So even if they're going to give more free food, we know government has free food options. What are those options? Are they healthy? So you're going to feed the people, the people that have the most need for nutrition, but you're not going to feed them salmon, broccoli, mm. Brussels sprouts, ground turkey. Yeah, and the sausage. You're going to give them milk, eggs, Vienna and sausage. government cheese. Yeah. Vienna sausage is spam. And, 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 and what is that? Isn't that supposed to be like, you know, it's like in the form of hot dogs. Isn't that supposed to be the pig's? Yeah, the, that's what they're going to feed us. Yeah, is the, is, is the pig's butt, yeah. right? Um, so those type of things, are they... So, okay, let's say you end hunger, but you're not ending... Uh, people not getting nutrients. Oh, come on, come on. I'm practicing my listening skills, and okay. I, wonder, I really want to empathize. But before we go any further, I just want to... Before we go any further... Friends. Friends. Let's talk about friends. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> what do you mean? Keep that in mind because definitely mm -hmm. I think the audience has to empathize with that. Mm -hmm. But you said hot dogs are what now? I don't eat hot dogs anymore, but are you sure? The bad meats. In All one. mixed together. Oh, All mixed together in one. Is this conspiracy? Some yeah. Is this conspiracy? No, this is real. There ain't this no is such real. thing as a conspiracy. No, it ain't it's no either conspiracy. the truth it's or true. not the truth. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay, we no, almost let's get it to that. How did you find and this? this how did you find this information? I'm just curious. Just go, it's it's like been, spam. Yeah. It's like spam. It, 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 it's some so, of the worst meats that you can so, yeah. ever have. So what's funny is when people say <laughs> talk about glizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Instead yeah. of that, they're actually eating the other, the yeah. other, the other end. Yeah. Word <laughs> facts. Yeah. So yeah. it's like interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of it starts with the, uh, a lot of it starts when we're talking about politics. Is who is in charge of feeding America? Mm -hmm. Who's and, currently and who are they they're going to feed? Which group of people they're going to feed the good stuff and the bad stuff, if we being realistic. So that those are the things I would look out for. I try and be as optim optimistic as possible. But I also am a history buff. And if you've done something over and over and over and over and neglect malnutrition and over and we're getting fatter and fatter and more disease, more disease, more disease. I just feel like they're going to feed you things to put you more in dis-ease. So mm -hmm. I believe the main thing is education. If they educate 
the United States mm. on where to get it, what food deserts are, how to have access, what the food pyramid should be. That is my opinion, professional and personal, of how you would rid, because we have enough food in this country to feed everyone. There's a, we throw away food all the time. Yep, all, all the, the time. time. Restaurants and they, and then they don't even give it to the homeless. And pounds of food. They don't even, they, homeless are sitting yeah. on the ground. They yeah. throw pounds of food away. That's why homeless go to the trash because yep. they can get free food. Yep. In San Francisco, they have what they call dumpster dives, where people that have enough money to pay rent, have house and stuff, go into dumpsters and get restaurant grade food because they just threw it away. They wait for it to throw it away and pick it up. So there's enough food. So with this whole thing of world hunger, this is bullocks. We have enough food. It's just that you're not giving access to the people who want. So it's not about having the food to give. What are the programs you're going to put in place that's going to ensure good or even fair nutrition that's going to help? Because you can feed them. You go to the corner store, liquor store, deli store, they get food from there. If they're going to give them the same food, that's what. I'm not saying that's what they're going to do. I haven't even searched it at all, but I'm saying you guys do your search. He told you. History says what? Would you say that again? History tells us that, that oh. it's bullets. It's, oh, it, it, okay. They've done the same thing over oh. and over again. Oh. And for me, if I'm going to prejudge or you say prejudice, I'm going to go on what has been happening. And if someone slaps me in the face and slaps me in the face and slaps me in the face, hey, this time I'm going to slap you in the face. But it's going to be so long before I'm like, you're not going to do that. Right? Mm -hmm. So I get very passionate about this. If they have not, no one's coming to save me. Let me just put it like that. And world hunger, world peace. Find peace within yourself. Mm -hmm. Learn how to eat for yourself. Okay? It's not that expensive if you know what you need and go mm. straight to that. Exactly. Go straight to that. You see, rice, mm -hmm. ground turkey, chicken, sweet potatoes, yeah, whatever it is, avocado. That that's not that expensive. Simple cashews, that's like clean, you said. You just right? You don't like out. vegetables? Get on Juice Plus. You don't like uh, 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 fish? Go on Thorn. And these mm -hmm. are things that we uh, we promote because we do it ourselves. We're not going to tell you any advice that we don't partake in ourselves. Like we said last episode and last episode, we actually do this. We're living the lifestyle. I know I'm going on a tangent, but this could be my gem for today. We live that lifestyle. Find someone that you can follow that looks, feels, performs, uh, looks, okay, like what you feel is going to take you to that next level. And, and that's my advice on that. So my advice would be educate yourself. And if you don't know where to go, PBS. like, share, subscribe, <laughs> go to www.com, peakvitalitysolutions.com, or uh, www.peakvitalitysolutions.com, or subscribe to our channel. Vitality Handbook. Okay, Mr. Nick, if you were going to concoct a very general nutrition for the world, this is a big question now. This is. <laughs> very general. So I'm talking about if there was to be a one size fits all, which we don't believe in that. We believe that it should be all personalized. But if there was going to be a one size fit all, what would be one of the safest things you could start with? Eat plants, uh, drink water, like one size fits all for someone's nutrition, right? I'm trying to get to what can someone do one simple change to improve their nutrition, optimize their performance, uh, change their body proportions. What would it be? It could be one thing, it could be a meal, it could be whatever. That's a deep it's a very deep, deep, question. deep question. I, I can go first if you guys want me to. I don't believe there's a wrong or right answer. I just I want to know, I want to know what you guys are thinking about that, because most people are going to be like, "What can I eat? What can I do? Everyone's different. I got to see. Mm -hmm. uh, just tell me what can I eat, right?" So what are they trying to eat for? That would I'm gonna be. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Go ahead. Because you, he, he said that we're trying to change your body, your right. look, yeah, all those things to get better, right? Yes. So whatever that comes with, that lose weight, get lean, build muscle. It's clear skin, all, all the positive stuff, right? Correct. That's their goal. Um, first, you should worry about what you shouldn't eat. Mm. Simple okay. as that. Okay. You Focus on what you should not be eating. Okay. Should not be eating. We can say 
all the positive stuff. Oh, we want to go get this, 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 and that. And what what, what do people like go in the grocery store lot. and do? I like that answer a lot. Do the opposite. Do the opposite. Right? Like so, once again, five on the list. Don't get this juice. You can get juice, but supplement it for something else that's right. healthier. Right? right? Simple. Don't. First, get what you need mm -hmm. when you go into the grocery store. That's number one. Immediately go to what you need. Put your meats, your fats, your carbohydrates. First, get that. Calculate it. Okay, I have this much left for uh, my uh, snacks. Let's put it that way, right? And try to pick the, the best snacks as possible. So when you know, you're in a grocery store, the first thing someone goes to is the soda section. 24, mm. boom. That's number one. Second one. But That's they got two bag, no, not two bags of chips, the whole uh, variety, the variety pack chips. of chips. That's their first two choices. So soda and snacks is where they go. Soda and snacks. Real food. Soda and snacks That's and the pig, advice. the hot dog, oh my God. the Vienna sausage. All, all the terrible stuff. That's their, that's their third choice. Mm. Right? And now what do they have left? Very minimum funds left to choose the good stuff. The good stuff that they need to eat. I believe Drake. What do they get? A bunch of packs of bread, hot dog bread, bun bread. I, I no, I I I actually yeah, I think we should end it there. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> said bun that bread. wasn't I didn't even think that was coming, but that's what I was looking for. Right? <laughs> Just the one thing <laughs> advice to where and that goes to bread. what do you need? He said the first Yo. thing is get what you need. You have to know what you need. So my answer is always going to be the same on brand. If I'm going to give you one thing to follow, assess yourself to see what mm -hmm. you need. There you go. That's my yeah. nutritional advice. I'm not going to give you a meal plan because I don't know what you need. Mm -hmm. You need to make an assessment on yourself to know what you need. If you don't know how to do that, season one, season two, Vitality Handbook, we give you step by step processes and substrates and to do that. We're not going to do that today. I want to go into Nick's answer on that one piece of advice for nutrition for the general population. It doesn't have to be a meal. It could be like Dre said. Know what you need. Get what you need. Stop getting pig's ass and buns and, and, and chips. chips soda. Yeah. So, so we, if we're talking United States, then it would be what's free. Most people do have access to health care. So that okay. means go get like your physical. Mm -hmm. Like most people don't even forget. So know your vitals. At least know your vitals because that's, that's free access. All, all you're going to do is schedule an appointment. And then from there, if any deficiencies come up, then figure out how to get, get that. Like someone close to me recently found out they were vitamin D deficient after mm -hmm. a physical, which is free. Okay, so now it's okay. Now I can, I can make more decisions that are personalized to me. So it's a, it's, a easy, it's a way to begin to make decisions that are personalized to you. Okay, what else? Maybe you feel great after that. You know, that same person told me, wow, I didn't realize how much my mood was affected by my vitamin D deficiency. I feel so much better. Okay, oh, so maybe, so what else is affecting me because of who I am and where I'm at? So that, that's an easy way, that's a free way actually to get to understand how personalized decisions are more advantageous. That's a, actually a free way, relatively speaking, if you have access to healthcare which even growing up in, in, in impoverished environments, I would say most people, I think America gives access to healthcare is not gonna be the best, but at the level of what we understand now, physicals are, it's very simple. You draw blood mm -hmm. and you run the data. Mm -hmm. Figure out deficiencies. I like that. So figuring out deficiencies through testing, which is an assessment, knowing what you need, which you're gonna to have to have an assessment, making sure you get what you need. Don't get that bulls, right? I love that. So we're gonna go off of that. So talking about assessing someone, um, we need to understand is what is your level of education or awareness about nutrition? I would say, can you cook? Mm -hmm. can, you, can you make rice? Can you uh, boil pasta? Can you bake chicken? Like basic things like that can you do those things? If you cannot, then can someone in your household do it? If they cannot, then now you need to start thinking about outsourcing, right? Either this information to learn how to cook. You know what I'm going to say. Watch the, watch the tape. Watch the tape. We teach you these things. Um, 
But then if you can't and you, you don't want to learn how to cook, you, you, you don't want to uh, uh, get to like meal place, uh, um, meal replacement, things like that. We are sun people. Just look at all the people that live across the equator in the tropics. They usually live the longest because they have sun. Like you said, vitamin D. It's really not a vitamin, but we understand those nutrients come from the sun. Everything that we eat that eats the sun, plants, give us more sun. And we're organic creatures, we need the sun. So I would say that would be, if I would say one thing for everyone is get more plants in your life because plants are alive. Get more alive food. If we only eat meats, those meats have been dead for a while, right? If you only eat things that are not vibrant and colorful, right? If you're not eating it, make sure you supplement to get those in. But you need those things. You need plants in your life because they are organic to our organism. Good. Let's give the people what they want. Let's humanize it. If you've been following us, you know we always end off with a gym, something you can leave with and apply straight after you watch the show. So let's go gym time, guys. Nick, we go to you first. Dre, we go to you. Whatever's on your heart, whatever's on your mind about the topic nutrition, let's hear it. Three. What's on my mind and what's, my, what's on my heart about nutrition is just to close out that loop that I introduced in the beginning. Like, what is your plan? What are, what are y'all plans to help address what they call public health outcomes? Hmm. Like, I want people to, to think about that. There's going to be so many different answers if, if people engage on that content. My gem, as far as uh, inspiration, is to look forward to companies like PVS, other, other companies who are really about the people. Really, that's what it comes down to if you're really about the people. Look forward to the type of upgrades we create to the environment that we can control, which is the technological environment. We can't control the physical environment you're in and, and all the nutritional things um, that you have access to or perceived access to. But what we can influence is that technological environment because that technological environment has, has already changed your lives in ways you may or may not realize. So I would, my, my gem for today is going to be a forward-looking statement to, to draw anticipation for what PVS is working on as far as nutrition. I like that. PVS, of course, this is us. Nutrition, you can't go wrong with that. You know, might have some bias, but it's greatness. It's greatness. All right, Mr. Dre, wherever you want to go. Um... I mean, we said a lot in this episode, so. But I'm just just end it off here with some something raw. Please stop putting, uh, you know, let's say if you do pick the right stuff and you do cook the right stuff. So thank you for joining us. As always, like, share, subscribe. Please watch the entire video. Go back, check the receipts. Nicholas Lopez Jr., Andre Bibbins Jr. I'm Yao A. Wilson Jr. Let's get into it.